Welcome back to the channel guys. We're out at the large greenhouse, our large permaculture area where we're always developing and planting stuff. And how we're always doing that is by using our waste crops from our farmers. Market. Every week we're always having a few crops that aren't successful or we've grown too many of them. It's pretty true with every greenhouse. It's easy so to a do. A few more crops thinking, hey, I might sell this many or I'm, I'll just plant whatever I don't sell. And hey, we're sitting here with red romaine lettuce that's trying to seed in pots. I mean, they're all in their own soil blocks and stuff like that. But pretty much ready to go. They are not gonna be edible, they're gonna be bitter, and we're going to just be using them for seed. So that is how we're recycling all of our waste. We're not wasting any of these. It's very rare that we send any of our plants to recycle or compost if they're not dead or completely dried out. We will use them and recycle them and plant Moving them. over to this bin here, I have a permaculture style bin. This is all perennial stuff that is herbs and it has uses and it's all food and medicines. So let's kind of break this down. We've got our fever few. We've got a little bit of lovage in the middle there. We've got a few plugs of our uh, lemon balm. We've got some of this red vein sorrel back here. We've got some chives and stuff and some parsley, some biennial. So we're going to get the seeds from that. We've got some mallow or marshmallow herb. We use the roots from that and the flowers. So a few things we had put in here and you can see they all just kind of mushed together as a root system. They've been in here for a day and we just watered them together. So taking all of these crops that we didn't sell that are kind of expiring past their life cycle in the pot that they're in, we're going to use them, we're going to recycle them, we're going to save seeds from them. They are not going to get wasted. We have tons and tons of crops that we have planted that are benefiting us that have not been sold at the market. Butterfly flowers. These are a beautiful pollinator flower. We've got lots of those. You can see all of our beans on our trellis we put up about a month ago that we paid for with our farmer market funds. And we've got all of these heading collards. These are ones we did not sell. And we're having pretty good luck keeping the worms off of them. So not doing too bad with those. Lots and lots of tomatoes, lots of weeds, lots of beans. And we've got our market rows where we put all of our radishes and stuff like that on both sides of the greenhouse to take advantage of the shade and the sun. Because with this heat in the summer, it is kind of wicked trying to grow radishes. So you got to experiment sometimes. Having all these free crops to plant, basically, because we over sown, we have a tray and a half or more of this red romaine lettuce. So we're going to have maybe 40 cells of all of this red romaine lettuce. We're going to be able to just dig a nice trench out in the middle of all of that out there. We have a whole patch, a nice little field of wood chips and stuff like that. You can see our lemon cucumbers actually really took off well. We've got lots of wood chips, lots of nitrogen deficient soil there because of all the wood chips, but they don't mind the weeds. The cucumbers seem to thrive in that kind of environment. That was just one we test planted. So that's interesting. All of these red romaine lettuces are going to get put in a trench very close to be in very good shape next season when we have a big bag of red romaine lettuce to sell to our customers and plant for ourselves. So we continually do this and saving all of those seeds is just another part of the job. So we have a bunch of cucumbers back there poinsettia straight eight cucumbers big large variety we've got some jalapenos we've got some zucchini here and like i said all of these perennials we've got a lot of work to do after every market we've got a lot of extra crops and stuff that's always cycling out so we are definitely always planting and recycling i really wanted to share that with everybody because it is super important to not let those crops go you can see crops that we have let go these were cucumbers I had let set out for about a week. Those got absolutely scorched. It is way too hot for the crops that are in pot. You can see my son's fish down there swimming around waiting to be fed. He's running around somewhere. Lots and lots of crops. Like I said, so we've got all these Egyptian walking onions. We've got parsley. We've got St. John's wort. All of these crops are just getting potted out. We've got a whole bunch of Swiss chard, some coleus, everything chives, hot peppers, hostas. We've got a little bit of uh, dead plants too. You can see that it's dry in here. A lot of elderberries failed because they got too dry. And then I came through and watered when it was We've too We've got late. to start another round of elderberries. We've got some success on a few of them, but I'm not too concerned. We have a lot of elderberries growing. We've got all of these uh, 
cold hardy kiwis and we've got a bunch planted i've just been trying to propagate the male and female so i can get more growing and share these with all of our customers here and we've got a little bit of yarrow just starting all types of stuff you can see it's very dry in here so all of these crops that are getting dried out like these lemon cucumbers and stuff all the tomatoes they are getting put right into the ground so all of these that are tied up look really really well growing very well we've got very decent tomatoes producing all over the entire plants growing right up the vine just keep twisting them right up very very easy to do these are almost as tall as me now so very very easy to do every one of those tomatoes we planted was a free crop so we had put all of these in because they did not sell so these are only about a month old and they just took off in the greenhouse because perfect environment they like the 30 percent shade cloth because this sun is brutal so getting them in here and getting them uh, strung up really helped really really made the peppers look good all these peppers everything we're just throwing all this in here and filling any gap we can from our market plants so we don't waste anything even like this little ground cherry little cape gooseberry pineapple ground cherry very pretty plant we sell a ton these of these. pineapple ground cherries are a very cool plant so if you have not checked these out i suggest doing so my little guy's got some strawberries from out in our patch very very cool you can see all of our strawberry plants inside the greenhouse that we've been propagating from and making more catching all the runners and stuff like that we've got our hickasap honeyberry we showed everybody potting this up doing very well we've got some seedless grapes here this is a variety we purchased to start on a trellis we've got some seedless green grapes also so a seedless red and a seedless green variety we are just trying to expand everything all the time and trying to make things easier on ourselves by putting them all up and easier to access on trellises and stuff so you can see all these tomatoes and this is just a ridiculous abundance you can see all these tomatoes drying out these are going to be wasted so i hate to waste any crops we may even stick all these in the ground and let them do something down on the side of the greenhouse but we don't have enough room for all of that these ones are going to go outside the greenhouse these are all black crim and big boy tomato and keeping all of that stuff out of the compost is really benefiting us monetarily so so we're able to save the seeds we're able to harvest a ton more of our crops so we'll have our fourth round of cucumbers we've planted my little guy's been picking cucumbers and eating them this morning we have such an abundance of cucumbers that we're trying to sell as many as we can through the market through the house and wherever we can get rid of stuff so we are having an abundance of crops and we're constantly planting so we're developing more and more space you can see a lot of green and green grass so we are going to just continually keep developing our entire property here and moving forward. Hopefully we'll have our permaculture nursery going in a few years here. That's what our goal is. I'd like is. to thank everybody for watching this video. Hopefully everybody found it useful, found some ideas or something from it. I like to share everything we're doing. My little guy's out here eating strawberries and eating healthy, and that is the main goal. So I'd like to thank all my subscribers I've gotten recently. We haven't been so active this summer because it's been super busy, and we just got to take a break sometimes. We go, go, go. So. And it's so hot out. And it's so hot out. So thank you guys for watching, and we will see you guys next time.